Hey everyone, it's Chili. Today we'll be making penne with a roasted red pepper cream sauce topped off with some delicious turkey meatballs. Yum. So let's get started. I drizzled my saute pan with some olive oil, threw in my chopped onions, and you want to let them soften up a bit over low heat for about five minutes. Threw in my minced garlic, let that cook for an additional minute. And now I'm using a jar of roasted red peppers. You may roast your own peppers, that is optional. I gave them a quick rough chop and I added some white wine. I raised the heat to medium high, let it cook for about three minutes. The alcohol will reduce, but you may omit it if you don't have any or don't drink at all. We're then gonna place our mixture into a food processor or blender, blend it up, and place it back into our saute pan. And now that was way too much oil. I definitely over poured, but I didn't want to take some out, look like a rookie in front of my family. So just drizzle about a teaspoon. I poured in some chicken stock. You may use vegetable stock if you prefer. Season this with some salt and pepper. And just in case you're very observant and notice that things look a little different, I recorded this video in my aunt's house. I poured in the heavy cream and this is what really makes this sauce amazing. You may add a little less than I did. I wanted it on the creamy side, so I added half a cup. You want to let your sauce simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes or until it thickens up nicely. While the sauce was simmering, I prepared the turkey meatballs, threw in some onions, garlic, parsley, a slice of bread, chili powder, salt, pepper, an egg, milk, I know what's about to happen. I mix everything and if you've seen some of my other meatball videos, you'll notice that I usually saute the onions and garlic, then add them to the raw turkey or beef. I also like to soak the bread and milk for a little bit. I'm a gypsy in the kitchen, it all depends on my mood. This day I was in a little rush. I even forgot to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, but no worries, that's the only thing I forgot, so take it easy on me. Make sure not to overmix the mixture. And now you can use an ice cream scooper to form these. I usually just use my hands, and you can make them as little or as big as you like. I fried them in vegetable oil over medium heat. You may bake them if you like. And now when you see them turning gray on the sides, you want to flip them over. I cook them completely. You may cook them for a minute or so just to give them a nice color and then finish cooking them in the roasted red pepper sauce. That's completely optional. Sauce is looking good. I threw in some shredded Parmesan cheese. And now this looks like tikka masala, doesn't it? Yep. I threw in some parsley, some basil, gave everything a stir and make sure to taste for seasoning. Add some salt and pepper. Some red pepper flakes are almost mandatory in this sauce. And now of course you can use spaghetti instead of the penne. I use penne because I had this dish at a restaurant a long time ago and I always take a picture of the ingredients and recreate it at home. Only difference they use beef meatballs. And they give you a slice of garlic bread on the side. Yummy! So like you've seen I tossed in the pasta and the meatballs. I didn't make all of the meatballs. I felt like this was enough for my family. The recipe gave me about 14 meatballs in total and that was more than enough. I sprinkled some extra Parmesan cheese on top, a little bit of parsley, and that was it. This was really simple to make, super delicious. My little cousin said, Julie, this is so good. Tasted like a real chef made it at a restaurant, which offended me a little bit, but I'm glad he enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you try this recipe, and thank you guys so much for watching.